Hi, I'm Valerie, and today I'm going to show you how to decorate these spring pedophores using Wilton's new mini cutout sets. Starting with the flowers on top of the pedophores, we've got some white gum paste that we've tinted orange using Wilton orange icing color. Now you want to roll this out to about 1 16th of an inch thick, so it's really thin. These new cutters are really great. I'm using the flower set, and all you do is you put a little bit of pressure on the base of the cutter, and then you eject your shape. The cutters are great for making a lot of designs really fast and really easy. When you're working with the flowers or any decoration that you're making, you want to keep them stored in this gum paste storage board set because it keeps them really nice and soft. So moving on to the next section, um, I've got the small ball tool and the thinner set from the, uh, the fondant shaping foam set. And what you're going to do is just thin out each of the petals using the small end of the ball tool. And it thins out each petal so it's good for cupping the flower and also thins it out so it adds a little bit of detail to the edge of the flower. Then I'm going to take the thicker part of the foam set and use the small end of the ball tool again on the inside of the flower so it has a nice cupping effect and it makes the flowers look really lifelike. You can also use the larger end of the ball tool if you'd like an even larger flower with a deeper cupping effect. Once you're done with the three flowers for each pedophore, you'll place them in the flower forming cu cups and have them sit overnight. Now that your flowers have dried for a full 24 hours, it's time to add the finishing touches to the inside of the flower. I've got bronze and pink pearl dust and I'm going to use the, uh, the round brush from the new round brush set. I'm just going to paint the inside of the cupped flower. So the first layer will be bronze. Then I'm going to take another clean brush that's a little bit smaller. I'm going to add the pink pearl dust on top. The pearl dust gives a really nice metallic finish to your flowers. You can now go ahead and finish dusting the rest of your flowers. <laughs> Once you have your flowers all dusted, it's time to cover your pedophores with candy melts. I chose the pink, the pink candy melts because it has a really nice pastel color to it. I'm applying a little bit of the pink candy melts onto three flowers for a nice little arrangement in the corner. You can arrange your flowers however, however you'd like. And that's how easy it is to decorate spring pastel pedophores. For more inspiration, visit Wilton.com.